Hi, hello guys. I am so excited. I feel like I start all my videos off the same way. I'm always excited. I am particularly excited though for this video. This is my very first Sims build video. I've decided to turn it into somewhat of a build challenge for you guys. The idea of this was to create a house with the shape of the letter that was still functional, but also kind of fun to, you know, kind of fun to look at. So I'm going to show you what I came up with, my version of the letter A. Uh, the only rules I think I would have to say would be don't make the whole of the A a room, leave that unroofed. And out like you don't even have to use that or turn it into an outside area. But I think it would defeat the purpose if that part was closed in as an extra room. I hope you guys enjoy this video. This is the letter A. So the idea of the, for the shape of this house is I wanted it to look like the letter A without any like super harsh diagonal edges because in my mind that's not really functional as far as like a layout of a house. So I took inspiration from an 8-bit pixel style font to start with as kind of the floor plan of the house I guess. So you can see here it is very clearly the letter A. It is a fairly decent house size. We're just going to ignore everything that I do with the roof here because I am so bad at building roofs. I just thought the inside of the house is what I want to focus on. This is my first build video and I, like I mentioned before, I'm not great at building. So I didn't really want to focus on the harder parts of the build. Um, I just wanted to focus on like the floor plan and the functionality of the place inside. Yeah, as you can see, I was having a really hard time with the trim around the house. This is uh, where I divide up the rooms. I kind of wanted like a master bedroom. I wanted a kid's bedroom. I wanted a kitchen. Uh, I thought about doing a little powder room off of the main bedroom, but I decided against it and I decided to also make the study a little bit smaller. Um, and I do adjust the kids room to be a little bit bigger as well. My biggest problem when I'm building is I have way too many options with the uh, all the DLC and it just takes me way too long to decide on something as simple as doors. There's a, yeah, there's a lot of twisty and turnies in this with the camera angle and stuff. Yeah, so this is me trying to place these windows and I ended up raising the platform of the house so I could have these windows because I am obsessed with these windows and I thought they would be really cute for a little breakfast nook in the kitchen. And then I just go through and I add some more windows to the bedroom. And then for the study, I wanted it to be a super open, sunny place. And I went with the biggest windows I could find. And I literally, as you can see earlier, I pulled out the wall a little bit just to make the walls even so I could fit two full windows down on that end. And I just put some more placement windows just to just to test with it. Chances of me keeping them there weren't huge, but now I'm just adding trim or the foundation trim all around the house, making an outside color for it. Too many options trying to decide on the right door. But part of this challenge I wanted to mention was the middle spot where the hole of the A is, 
the point of the challenge is for it to look like the letter A. So I really wanted to avoid having that as a room. I wanted to keep it an open space. I felt like if I had turned it into a room, it would kind of just defeat the purpose of trying to work with a weird shape. So instead you get a garden in the middle of your house, I guess. But yeah, this is just the kitchen being furnished. I decided to go with a black and gray. I don't know, I was feeling kind of modern with how I wanted the kitchen to look. And I do love these cabinets. And I am absolutely obsessed with this little breakfast nook here. Um, for those of you who have watched some of my sim streams, you can definitely tell that I took inspiration from a house that I had furnished early on. Um, it's, it's the same idea, <laughs> but I absolutely love that little corner of the kitchen there. And as you can see, or as you can probably tell, I'm pretty indecisive with how I want things to go. This is why I'm not allowed to build on stream. Um, I take way too long on the simplest things. I don't know why I thought maybe the fridge would go there. You can see I decided to change this into a three-seater and then a two-seater and then I decided there wasn't enough color. Because I have those fun colors on the chairs for the island, I wanted the same kind of feel for the rest of the kitchen. So I went with these kind of funky looking chairs and this really nice same palette pastel green. And I have a little bit of trouble trying to... yeah. I have a little bit of trouble trying to decide where or how I want this to go and I think I finally decide to just make it a three top uh, up against the wall there. I mean there's still two seats on the island so there is like seating for five in the kitchen and let's be honest how often do the sims actually all sit together and eat? Half the time I have them going to sit on the toilet and eating so it's all for it's all for looks I'd say. But uh, yeah, I'm just uh, making it look a little lived in, adding some little clutter things. I love this fruit basket. Uh, I don't think I've ever used it before. This is probably the first time I had found it. Little salt pepper shakers on the table. And here I think I'm looking for a specific hot cocoa. Oh no, this is the knife rack. Next one is the hot cocoa. Um, and I can never seem to find it when I'm looking for it. So I did jump a little bit there because it took me forever to scroll through everything to find it. And this is me trying to add art to the walls or like work with dead space or empty space. I do my best, I do my best, but sometimes it's hard. And I just, Gave up on that room completely. I think I think I go back to it, um, but I decided to work on the bathroom, and I just wanted a really quick. Since it's the only one in the house, I wanted it to be a bath shower combo, because uh, the bathroom is kind of small. There is enough space for everything that got put in here, but it is probably closer to being a starter home. So I wanted the bath shower combo to be able to accommodate toddlers um, in the small space that we had to work with there. And I'm just adjusting door placements and everything for the sake of decoration, making it feel a little more lived in. A lovely wall color. I'm obsessed with this wall color. I love it so much. And the same just Adding, kind of trying to match the painting. I match everything together and it's probably a bad habit, but I do like how the bathroom turned out. I think it's super cute. And now we're on to the master bedroom. I 
need to learn to not shake my camera around so much. It's, it is a bad habit, but I don't know why I am convinced that seeing things at multiple different angles will change the shape of the room. I also have a really hard time putting together a master bedroom. I just feel like there's never enough stuff to make it feel full. So I'm glad this one is relatively small because I think I did a good job at making it work. I got the important things in there. I put I tried to put in a little bit of like decorations and greenery. Um and I do like the color palette of it. I, I like the almost rosewood looking color. And I wanted to like kinda mute it a little bit with the curtains so we could add a really nice uh, strong wallpaper in there and I'm obsessed with this wallpaper it's kind of like the warmest toned room in the house and that is absolutely that that painting is my favorite painting in game and I try to put it in every single one of my I wouldn't say builds I try to put it in whatever house I'm playing when I go to decorate. So anyways, this is the study. Uh, I kind of wanted it to be like a office study feel. So that's why I just added a little seating area in the corner. And I think this is me telling myself, don't overdo it with yellow. <laughs> and it looks like I was going to overdo it, but I did end up changing it out a little bit. But I wanted it to have like a, a nice seating area if whoever is living in this house maybe has clients or whatever their business is, business meetings, just a really nice cozy little nook there to have coffee or whatever you feel like drinking at the time. And yeah, I wanted to add a bookcase. I think this is the most awkwardly placed paintings and I quickly realized that they both weren't gonna work and I only needed one there <laughs> and now I think I'm just gonna be adding a little bit of stuff to the shelves here stack of papers just to make it look a little a little lived in and I love decorating all these shelves with plants I just love putting plants everywhere and I could probably put a lot more plants if I had used moved objects, but I didn't think about it until like halfway through this video. I honestly had move objects turned off, I think up until I get to the kids room, maybe. But yeah, just a nice little office space and then lots and lots of plants. I just feel like such a sunny room, you would just need to have as many warm inviting plants as possible and I just absolutely love that room so much this room gave me the most trouble in <laughs> and you'll probably figure it out by the time it's finished I had no idea what kind of feel I wanted to go for for this room I think I was a little confused with, you know, the office is fairly open and modern and I go back and change the floors in the rest of the house as well. <laughs> Indecisive. Um, but yeah, so the kitchen was really modern, the office felt really modern, um, the bathroom is just a bathroom, and um, the bedroom was really warm. And not not like a super country vibe, but definitely not like an upscale modern vibe. And then I, I still wanted it to feel like really cozy and homey, but still be modernized slightly. I think I kind of accomplished that with the living room. I know the couch seems kind of out there, but I think the wingback chairs kind of give it that almost elegant or regal feel.
this this whole room with the coffee table and the spacing and everything just gave me so much trouble. Also, this is my favorite light. I love using this one and I get so much I get a lot of hate on loving that lamp so much, but it's it's my favorite. It just looks so warm and nice. And I love how it's small and can fit in pretty much every corner. And don't worry, this rug does not stay. I'm looking at it now and I know that the pattern does not go at all. The colors go, but the pattern is too much with the pattern on the couch. But then I decided I wanted a more warm feel for the living room. So I changed the brick of the fireplace and I just wanted a really nice, not like rustic, but I wanted I wanted a really nice cozy feel to this living room. You know, like I want I wanted it to feel like you were in a spot to relax. And this wallpaper might be a bit much with the couch now that I'm looking back on it, but I still absolutely love the colors in this room. I wanted that rug to work so badly, and I think I just kept trying it and realized finally it was not working. So I did go with the big yellow rug, which not my not my favorite, but the rug selection and the curtain selection in this game need some serious work. That's that's another thing for another day. <laughs> This is where I turned uh, move objects on, finally, to place some things on the fire mantle there, because they wouldn't let me with the TV. And then this is where I try to make this a cute little middle patio area, almost. I know it's weird to have right in the middle of the house, but that's the whole point of this challenge, right? Like. I wanted to challenge myself to make a silly shaped home practical and functional and I think I ended up doing a pretty good job. The hanging lights in here are just absolutely adorable and it kind of gives me almost like not an apartment feel but almost like almost like city living but not you know like I feel like this is something that you would find in New York where everything is so crowded and there's not a lot of space for yards or greenery and apartments and you know maybe somebody would try to add a little bit of outside to their inside. So I do like what I ended up coming up with here. I think it's really a nice a nice spot. And I don't know, I think I end up going with yeah. I don't know why I wanted to get a bee box here, but I just thought it was a cute little thing to add. And I put a little planter there in case they wanted to like s plant something else. Now we're moving on to the kids room and this room gave me so much trouble. As you can see I have the bunk beds that were released not too long ago. I wanted to wait until they were released to try to make this work and it's funny because I put them in and then I'm working with the whole room and just trying to figure this all out. I'm terrible at making kids rooms like I don't I don't know what a kid would have in their room. I try to think back to what I would have in my room and I honestly spent so much time on the computer growing up that my room was nothing like this, <laughs> you know? I tried to make it feel like kids could have been living in it. And 
then this is kind of where I decide. I remember seeing a video trying to put the desk under the top bunk and I did turn move objects on to place that there. It is functional. It does function as a desk and they can do things underneath there and stuff. You just need to have move objects on for the placement. This room gave me such a headache. Like I said, I'm so bad at kids' rooms. I just was staring at this with no idea what to do. I was so lost with any sort of direction. But I kind of want- I kind of wanted it to be like a cute kid spot and I think I kind of pulled it off a little bit. Like I said, not great at kids rooms, but I did try. I did try. Here I'm just putting up some cool posters that I think had gotten updated with the release of the bunk beds. Just to give it a little bit more of a personal, personal touch. And here is where I realize that, I don't know if it's just a bug in my game or if it's with the release of the bunk beds. But if you do add wallpaper to a room that has a bunk bed in it, you can see the, as soon as you place it, the bunk bed disappeared. And yeah, I don't know if that was my game or if that was a bug that came with the release of the bunk beds, but it, obviously it was no, wasn't a big deal to replace, but. And this is where you can see how indecisive I am because I, go back to the kitchen, still not happy with the walls or the floors in that room at all. I tried to make that kitchen so modern and then I just completely threw in some kind of weird country twist to it with that wallpaper. I don't know what I was thinking, but I like it. I know my taste is not for everybody and it's probably like mixing genres or mixing styles super badly, but that's me. And I guess that's the fun of a challenge is you guys can look at this and say, nope, this is everything that I would do differently. And as you can see, while I'm Finishing off the smaller details of the house, I'm finding little things that I can put in different spots. Um, I put a little craft pack in the kids' room, and there's a magazine rack that I added to the living room. Just trying to fill up some of this empty space here. I never know what to do with hallways. I honestly don't usually do a lot of hallways in my builds because I don't know what to do with them, but the way that I laid this floor plan out, there is quite a bit of hallway space that I struggled to decorate. But my go-to is just to throw up a lot of paintings on the wall and that, I mean, you're walking through most of the time, you don't see that anyways, I know Myself, I spend a lot of time in three-quarter walls and a lot of it gets cut out So I just threw pictures on the walls to try to make it look nice when you did have walls up I also found baby Yoda and knew that that had to go in the office Somewhere in my build and I got rid of the stack of newspapers because I just thought the office looks so clean and Those just kind of made it look a little messy but 
here we are just adding more paintings to the hallway, changing up colors a little bit. Like I said, I don't really know what to do with this kind of space, but I did what I could. And I think this is just the final touch of, I saw the leaves slipping through the uh, wall there. And this is just me trying to do some landscaping. Like I said, I'm not good at building. I'm not great at landscaping. So forgive me for the way that this turned out, but it's a first attempt. And I'm hoping with each letter of the alphabet, I get better, but I don't usually play around with outside landscaping and I really wanted to give it a try. So I did do my best to add in some rocks and foliage to the outside. And I think I had move objects turned off here. So I was really struggling to place things and it just didn't clue in that I should turn it back on. But I wanted to add it a little bit of flair to the outside so I did end up putting in some of these columns just to change up the look a little bit and give it a little bit of uh, character. I don't want to talk about my struggle with flowers, okay? And I think this is where we leave it. So, uh, yeah, this is, a, this is a final look at how I ended the rooms. Um, I think I did an okay job. I mean, the main goal was to make the letter A shape work as a functioning starter home. And, yeah, my, my window was messed up there, so... I just had to give that a little fix. Overall, I am really happy with how this turned out. I do think it has a lot of character and I do genuinely feel like it works well as a house and I don't even think looking at it from the top you would really clue in that the shape of it is supposed to be the letter A. And this is just giving you a top view of it. And then just another little rotate to give you a full idea of what I've done with the space. Just to kind of show off everything in case I missed anything as I was going through it. Because I did speed this up a bit but I wanted to slow it down at the end and show you guys what I had this is just the outside again trying to spin it around I'm terrible with camera angles I'm so sorry you guys but uh, yeah this is the letter A in all of its glory After all that, I really hoped you guys enjoyed this video. What I've gone ahead and done is I have uploaded a shell of this to the gallery. I wanted it to be accessible for everybody um, because this one I did use a lot of DLC um, because I do have all the packs. It's all base game stuff, so the roof's different. Uh, the windows are a little different and I did make the shell after I had already made this initial build so the outside of it is actually a lot nicer. I tweaked the roof a little bit too. You can find the shell download with my EA tag Shea Princess TV and I would love if you guys uploaded your own versions of this with the hashtag alphabet soup. I am going to be continuing on from A to Z for this series and I can't wait to see what other people come up with. The shell that I did upload has my floor plan in it, but 
it's super easy to, you know, knock down those walls and make your own. If you liked this, give it a thumbs up, click subscribe, hit that notification bell so you never miss an episode in this challenge. I haven't seen anything like it before, so I'm looking forward to doing it myself. I can't wait to see what you guys come up with for this challenge. I will see you next week with the letter B. And I hope you guys have a great day. We'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye!